All right, so a lot of the times and in Cricut Design Space, you know, it comes with a shadow layer. And the shadow layer, uh, if we take a look at the D in here, once we turn it on, that the D is filled in. And that's more like a shadow blackout, okay? And, you know, although this font comes with that, there are some fonts within the Cricut Design Space uh, that are not like that. And, you know, it would be nice in order to have that kind of ability to add that blackout shadow layer. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at this real quick. I'm going to go ahead and add a font here that uh, it is within the Cricut fonts. And it's called uh, Disney. And so I'm just going to go ahead and spell that out here. All right, so this is the font right here. And if we take a look at the layers panel, it does come with a shadow layer, but I mean, it's uh, just a shadow layer around the text and the centers of the P's and the B's and the A's are not filled in. And that's what I would like to do with this. So typically what you would think you could do is you can select the text and you can go up here to contour to just hide those openings. Well, that's not the case. And there are a few workarounds in order to get this to work. Okay, so let's go ahead and show you what needs to happen. So with the text selected under the edit, um, right here, it's called distribute letters to layers. And that's what I'm going to go ahead and select. And what that will do for me it will uh, convert these to uh, individual image layers. Now keep in mind that you do want to uh, resize everything to what you do want, um, as it will help you match things up later on. So I'm gonna go ahead and hide the top layer, and I'm just gonna work with the shadow layer for right now. Now the first thing that I need to do in order to uh, try and utilize contour is I need to weld this. Okay, so with the text selected, I'm going to go to Weld. Okay, now I'm still not able to use Contour yet. As you can see, it's grayed out. It won't even let me use it. But what I can do is I can go over here to the Insert Shape, and I have a square. And I'm just going to go ahead and change this square, unlock it right here, and allow me to drag over the entire text word here. And uh, you'll see why this is pretty cool. So um, keep in mind, we do have that top uh, the top font, although it's on our bottom layer here, hidden. So I'm going to go ahead and select everything. And you'll see that I have the square highlighted as well as the text. And then I'm going to go ahead and go to Slice. And we're going to get some extra pieces here, but that's fine. We can go ahead and remove what we don't want. So uh, this layer here, I'm going to uh, click on that. That's the black text and the black rectangle I no longer need. And I'm just going to keep the red text here that we see here. So I'm going to go ahead and hit delete. So now if we uh, if we take a look at this here, I, I am able to contour. So I can click contour. And now I can start hiding those inside letters, uh, inside shapes on the P's, on the B's, on the A's, on the O's. And then I'm just going to click off. So now those are filled in, and I can turn on this layer, but the reason why we're not seeing it is because uh, we do need to go up here to Arrange and then Move to Front. And now we have a perfect uh, text the way I wanted it with the font that was shadowed, but it wasn't shadow blackout with the holes knocked out. So hopefully this video will help you uh, in creating the text maybe that you wanted to make a blackout instead of just having a normal shadow, okay?